must remember, my dears, Santa's only got just that much room in his pack, and there's so many of you. Don't worry, Miss Parfrey. Mr. Claus will take care of us, just like he always does. <laughs> Absolutely right, Tony. All right, now run along, children, and finish decorating the front uh, yard. Go on, off with you. All of you, out, out. I've already got your request, Tony. You wanted a puppy dog. I know. I waited till the little kids were gone. <laughs> Miss Parfait, mm -hmm. you remember when I told you not to worry about Mr. Claus? That he'll come this year like he always does? I remember, Donnie. Well, Miss Parfait, would you mind telling me? I'm worried. Oh, Tony, no. I mean, all those war noises out there in the ocean. Suppose Mr. Claus gets scared away. Not a chance, Donnie. Not a chance. Santa Claus is a very brave man. He'll be here on Christmas Day, I guarantee it. My dear Commander McHale, I know how busy you are. Luana would like a doll like Dorothy L'Amour. Who wouldn't? She <laughs> to settle for a McHale doll with grass diapers. <laughs> and Sam Samalow, a sled. Ooh, your sled. Well, we had to fake that, Skip. How about this, though? Flexible flyer surfboard. <laughs> huh? That's nice work, Chuck. Nice work. Now, for Tani, a puppy dog. Oh, boy, a puppy dog. Anybody been able to come up with something like that? One puppy dog, coming up. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so he's not pedigree, but he sure is smart. I already got him where he can roll over. Now, how about that? But, but you know something? It, it's murder getting him to bark, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like that, Lassie. Now, come on, now, deeper. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, come on. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Good boy. Well, who knows? Maybe we straighten out his tail? <laughs> now, let's see. I know some of these requests will be hard to fill, Mikhail, but if anyone can do the impossible, you can. You're one of the world's most impossible Santa Clauses. <laughs> but I'm desperately counting on you to come through again with your usual miracles. God love and bless you, that stubborn old dame, Miss Pamela Parfrey. That's a real doll. And dedicated. Dedicated. Quite a dame. A uh, doll, but <laughs> lady. Yeah, that she is. That she is. Oh, now, Chuck. Now, look, here's Buena Loa. Uh. Now, the airdrop for Santa Claus is at 1,100 hours. So give me and Jack Frost here <laughs> a half hour to hit the kids with the small stuff. Then you come in with your brownies and hit Christmas Beach with the big stuff, including the turkey dinners. Gotcha, Skip. Now, I got the fly boy all set up. We're going to do it the traditional way this year. Santa Claus is going to drop in from the sky. The kids will love it. Oh, sure. Up dancer, up prancer, down tinker. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, Christy. Beautiful. <laughs> Great, huh? Oh, and Skip, I'm awful sorry about dancer, prancer, donner, and blitzing, but one head of reindeer is all I could round up. Yeah, well, that's good enough, buddy. Good enough. I'm not I could think it's in this kitchen anymore. What's the matter, food? What's the matter? Skip us out. Where do you get these cheap, no good light bulbs? <laughs> No wonder. Made in USA. This is Christmas, remember? Goodwill. Yeah, well, I just hope Binghamton remembers that when he finds out about this. I still think we should have got his permission. Ah. Ahoy there! It's your friendly Yuletide caterer. 
Hot turkeys for everyone. Compliments of Captain Bingleton. Oh, boy. Great work, Groover. Great work. Hey, you guys, give him a hand, and let's get ready to roll. <laughs> oh, really oh, I'm gone. Hey, Skip. Yeah. What have I been worrying about? Why didn't you tell me Captain Bingleton knew about this? Well, who said he knew? Well, he donated all those turkeys. Yeah, but he doesn't know he donated them. <laughs> when Groove said hot turkeys, he means those turkeys are hot. <laughs> Admiral Reynolds wired, quote, season's greetings, unquote. <laughs> Request for clemency from Seaman Melvin Spencer, sir. Mm. Well, what the heck, Carpenter, it's Christmas. Take Spencer out of solitary. Put him in a cell with another prisoner <laughs> for one day. You're very kind, sir. I know. Uh, what is on the menu for the officers' club Christmas dinner tonight? Consomme of Madrilene. Oh, that's fine. Caesar salad. Ah, yummy. For the main course, breast of chip beef with cranberry sauce. Good. Uh, for dessert, baked Alaska with what I know you're going to enjoy. Rest of what? <laughs> chip beef, sir. What is all this about, Lieutenant? What has happened to my turkeys? What, 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 what? Well, the turkeys seem to have disappeared, sir, but the cook has come up with a brand new recipe for chipped beef. He's dipping it in cranberry, sir. I don't care what he's dipping it in. I don't <laughs> want chipped beef. I want turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> you see that those turkeys are returned to me at once, Lieutenant. Uneaten. Well, sir, I don't know how I'm going to what do that do you because... you mean disappeared? You mean stolen. Isn't that what you mean, Lieutenant? Stolen? Let me ask you one question. What manner of man could be so rotten, so devious, so conniving, and don't answer me. I know the answer. Mikhail, <laughs> get me my boat. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Mr. Schuyler, and a Merry Christmas to the United Press. Uh, won't you sit down and make yourself comfortable right over there? I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, and I'll uh, fill you in with some heartwarming little stories about my early war years. <laughs> First, I have to track down the pillaging, conniving, unprincipled scoundrel. What's Mikhail done now? <laughs> Your colorful and nonconformist friend has filched the turkeys right out of my loyal officer's mouths, and to be in character, he's done it on Christmas Day. What a story. Let's go. Yes, come on with me. All right, you brownies. Ten. <laughs> All present account, of course, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, you bunch of swabs. <laughs> Ah, you look fine. Every one of you. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Skip, don't you think you're kind of overdoing it? Isn't that a pillow too many? What do you mean, pillow? That's all me, boy. <laughs> you better watch the way you talk. Or I'll demote you down to Brownie second class. <laughs> well, Mr. Frost, shall we be winging? Okay, let's twinkle. <laughs> See all you gremlins? I've won a law. Blazers was in that plane. I don't know, sir, but it must have been some admiral. One of them had a beard. <laughs> hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hayes, where have you been? Down at the ice house. I figured, what's Christmas without snow? Hey, that's a great idea. Will you look at that, Mr. Parker? Snowball! Now, that's ah. ridiculous. No. Now, man, I gave an order, and I'm the brownie in charge. Or the officer in charge. And you come back with it. Hey, that is Snowball. Kind of reminds me of Christmas back home. Yeah, let's see how good you are, Mr. Parker. Yeah. Well. Now, I'll tell you, Mr. Skyler, the day that I can laugh and forget about this, it'll be a cold day in July. <laughs> a snowball in the South Pacific? It's a snowball, all right. Wow, what a story. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. See, there's a sleigh up there. <laughs> Is that? Oh, it's Binghamton! Hey, what are we gonna do? Now, don't lose your head. Just act like nothing unusual's going on. <laughs> Ten. 
<laughs> funny thing happened to me. I was just hit by a snowball. That is funny, sir. But things will get worse, Parker. Oh, uh, you are Parker, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, let me guess. <clears throat> Leprechauns? Oh, uh, uh, the seven dwarfs. No, sir. But you're getting warm. <laughs> I give up. We're brownies, sir. Oh, brownies. Yes, sir. We're Santa's helpers. And this is our Cut it out. I've had about all of this nonsense, and I'm going to stand. Where's my good friend, Brownie McHale? I'm begging the captain's pardon, sir, but Commander McHale's not a brownie. He's not. Oh, no, sir. He's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. That does it. You men must be bucking for a gang, Section 8. I've never... You smell something, Mr. Skyler? Yes, a story. Oh, I mean turkeys. I mean roast turkeys. I mean roast turkeys stolen from my mess. Uh, well, sir, uh... We were gonna leave a thank you note, sir. Stop it! Now, there must be an explanation for this whole thing, but I prefer to wait and read the results of the court martial. Shouldn't we hear their side of it first? Go ahead, Parker. Uh, uh, well, sir, it's a very simple thing. You see, there's this mission on Buena Loa, and, well, Santa Claus, uh... <laughs> Commander McHale. He flies over in a plane and drops gifts to the orphans there. And then we come along in the boat as brownies and pass out hot turkey. <laughs> You're hot turkey. Well, the human angle. Just the kind of story I'm looking for. You mean a PT boat crew in the South Pacific, led by that sentimental base commander, Wallace Burton Binghamton. How is the spirit of Christmas to a gallant little group of waifs stranded, stranded in the South Pacific? It would make Life magazine, or maybe even the Reader's Digest, the most unforgettable commanding officer I ever met. <laughs> well, well, sir, uh, shall we all get on board? That's, uh, that's a Binghamton. There's no P in that. The accent is on the Bing. Now, what are we waiting for, Brownies? We've got a date with Christmas. Now, get a shot of me getting on board, would you? But, sir, what about the officers' club dinner? Let them eat chip beef. 